welcome to another video. Just a quick video today that we're putting in these outlets, these USB outlets we got at Costco. Uh, this will allow us to uh, use the uh, kitchen counter a little bit more effectively. We won't have to have all these. And also it works on iPad chargers. Yeah, yeah. So go ahead and plug that iPad charger in. So you won't need that big brick part. Well, you know, you already took that off. Yeah, you'll plug that directly into here. So got these at Costco. Um, there's several other options available. However, these have the uh, rapid charging option, which I think there. our Android phones should uh, lock into. Right now we're plugging in this lamp so we can flip the breaker off and uh, know when the breaker's off, which, yeah, and this is uh, just FYI, this video is for entertainment purposes only. We are not electricians. We're not telling you how to do anything. This is just entertainment, right, buddy? You're right. Okay, let's go hit the breakers. It's off. Yeah, there you go. Ta-da! We got the plate off. Now we gotta get the other part out. Go get that electric screwdriver. Oh, look, they used, our contractor used uh, the wrong kind of screws on this. Well, I did pass inspection. See? All right, here we go. The black one is hot, and I think the white one um, makes stuff electric, like um, like the iPad charge. White is neutral, that is ground, and black is hot, based on my limited electrical knowledge. Now, I usually work, when we work with stereos and stuff, you know, black is usually negative, but black is, I guess this is AC, that's DC. Now, the hardest part is going to be opening this box. These boxes are not to be designed to be open, but fortunately we got our little box cutter. So yeah, we have a child using a box cutter and touching electrical wires on YouTube. Do not try this at home. <laughs> it's actually pretty easy to open this. So my apologies to Costco, it's easy to open. If you're watching it. Now we got that on, we just gotta put the plate on. You notice there are no screws in that plate. Normal plates have, like this one, have screws in the top and the bottom. Yeah, so you can't just press it on there. There's actually a little trick to it. It, uh, it separates. You're supposed to click it apart. There's a mounting frame at the back of this plate that... Uh, what was that? It's just creaky plastic. Let's see. Let's see if get this thing apart. Yeah. So, you actually put this part on first and then snap the other thing on there. Doesn't look too bad. Hey, what do you say? All right. It worked. So here's the problem. We've got an LG phone that's plugged into a power brick and it says, hey, fast charging is working. This Motorola phone is plugged into the thing directly and it, it doesn't work. So despite the LG power brick being only like two amps and this outlet being 3.4 amps, neither one of these phones recognizes it as fast charging. Here, let's reverse these and see what this happens. This might recognize it because oh, it, was seven, it was 67, now it's 68. Oh, you mean the iPad? I don't have an iPhone, but see if I put this guy on the thing, it doesn't say fast charging. If I put this one on the standard power brick it, and then unplug it, I think it tells me like turbo power or something. Somewhere in here it tells me it's it's a fast charger. Yeah, turbo power. So despite claims on this uh, thing that it's rapid charging USB, 3.4 amp USB, and my fast charger is only forgot how many amps. The uh, Costco outlet does not work with these LG or Motorola phones and even the one I'm filming this on now doesn't work with that either. Uh, I don't know that the iPad indicates whether it's fast charging or not and I don't know that the fast charging, I mean it, it ought to be generic, it's a USB port unless there's some sort of weird little signal or something going in there so I, I'm not actually sure why that's not working. We're also going to try to power up the old uh, Raspberry Pi here and uh, that looks like it's going to work just fine on this. Which again is a 3.4 amp outlet, so I'm not sure why the phones aren't recognized as fast charging. Let's let it boot up Windows here. Yeah, this this thing is powering a touch screen and a Raspberry Pi off just one USB outlet. It's got plenty of amps for the Raspberry Pi touch screen display and the Raspberry Pi itself. And the uh, Blue Iris web interface is so nice, I really didn't need to write all that C sharp code. The iPhone is still charging. Uh, oh. See you next time for a later video. You need another? Okay. Bye. Bye-bye.